everybody, I'm in the Littlewood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. And I don't think this cave was ever open before. I can see it on my little mini-map on the bottom of the screen, but I've most certainly never been this way before. So we've got lots of stuff we're going to do today. Um, I still don't actually know where I'm going next, because obviously we've been to the south and the north. But I don't know if we're going east or west next uh, as part of our quest. I literally have no clue. I'm assuming when I get back towards Clock Town, Tao's probably going to tell me where she thinks we should be headed to next. But before we do that, I want to have a little look around all this area now that spring is over. Uh, or spring has returned, should I say. Oh, my God. There's like an army of them. Holy crap. Come on. Up you climb, you bugger. Uh, no, I don't want to break that. Jesus, what were they doing there? Oh, I see. This is like the Goron way of getting up to, um, up to the gravestone, isn't it? For Darmani. Ah, uh, so that's how people go and, like, pray and stuff there. Oh, there's even a chest there. I'm just going to punch him. <laughs> I love that I can punch him before he uh, before he even came out of the thing. Like, when he was just literally a head sticking out of the floor, I could apparently still kill him. That's how strong Damani's fist is. What do we got? Ah, 20 rupees. Good times. Okay. So, yeah, we've got a couple of things we want to do. Um, I want to go and do the Goron racing because that sounds really, really cool. And that's where we'll also get the gold dust from, if I remember correctly. So, we'll go and do that. Um, I want to go back to Woodfall Temple and go and grab that frog and bring him back to the choir or the chorus, whatever it was called. Um, then I also want to go to Lon Lon Ranch as well. That's something that people have told me I should do because uh, I bought a map for it, didn't I? I just have no clue where it is. <laughs> Quite honestly, not a bloody clue. Ooh. Ooh, I forgot I can swim here now. Is there anything in the water around here? I wonder if there are any chests. Although I can only dive, like, to there. So I don't really have iron boots or anything to keep me underneath the floor as it is. I wonder if you can turn into a Zora in this game. That'd be pretty cool. I really hope you can. Um, and it looks like there is a chest over this way. People have been telling me that I've been missing out on a few too many chests. So I'm going to see if I can actually go across here. So apparently it's... Oh, no, it's like... Oh, no, 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 it's not. No, it's not. It looks like there is a little tiny gap just behind that. I was about to say, it looks like there's no way up the waterfall, but there is actually a space just behind it. What? Hold on, let me get the item out. Where is it? It's the uh, magnifying glass. The lens of truth. Ah, yeah, there you go. That's what I bumped into. <laughs> uh, a few people said as well, when we go back to the um, the Snowhead Temple, which we are going to do today, hopefully, if we have enough time, uh, to go and collect the stray fairies, because apparently they're hidden behind a couple of walls. Um, that are actually via the lens of truth. So we've got that to do as well. All this stuff's going down. It's very, very exciting. So I'm going to get myself all the way over to here. And we'll find out what the crack is. Um, and also people told me the bunny mask, okay? So it's called the bunny hood, more specifically. And it is actually at Lon Lon Ranch. So we're going to kind of get two birds with one stone. And I already have the other mask. You know, the one that basically makes animals march. Um, apparently I've got to use that. I'm not sure how or where or why. But apparently on Lon Lon Ranch somewhere, that's got to be done. Ah, Damani! Now that it's nice and warm, it's much, much better. Even my daddy isn't right beside me. I won't be selfish and cry. So, now that spring has come, the Goron race should be starting soon. But, but this big rock is in the way, so I can't get in there to see the race. And spring's just started too. I was so ex excited, but there's nothing I can do. I hate it, I hate it, I want to see it, I want to see the race. Don't worry yourself, my friend. I'm going to blow this thing to smithereens. Uh, I'm going to get the bombs out. I'm going to drop one bomb right about here. Uh, quickly move away, and that should hopefully do the trick. No, what? Hold on a second. Did you come to play if you can? You should see the Goron races that are going to be held, blah, 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 blah. But the rock is in the way. How the hell can I not break that with a, with a bomb? Oh, God, maybe I can't get in there with a bomb. Let me try one more time. Give this one more go. If this doesn't work, then I'm obviously missing something. Right, okay. What about if I were to get into, like, spiky ball mode and then come up the hill at it? Okay, now here we go. Spike it up. Yes. And then up the second ramp. And then up the third ramp into that. No, still bugger all. How the bloody hell do you break through that thing? Well, I guess we'll have to learn, but for now, we're absolutely clueless. Um, can I get underneath the water? Oh, change out, change out! Try to change out mid-air <laughs> to a different mask. Or just back into, like, normal Link. Yeah, let me see if I can quickly just jump beneath the water and get that chest. I doubt I can. Hold on, I'm going to attack you guys first. Let me see what Tattle has to say about you. These are skullfish, right, okay. It's a hassle to fight, so I either kill it with the first hit or just run away. Okay, let me get out my bow and arrow. We can go fishing. Here we go. So, shoot you. Nope, target the enemy. There you go, that's one. 
There's the other one. Right, okay, cool. So, I don't think I can do this. I'm fairly certain I might need boots for this, but let's give it a try. There you go. Yeah, oh, close. Close. Maybe if I get close enough, I can open it underwater. No, that's not happening, is it? All right, never mind then. Right, let's get ourselves over to Lolon Ranch, wherever the bloody hell that is. I'm going to hazard a guess that it's in Termina Field somewhere. So, uh, let's go back to Clock Town, and then we can see if anything pops up. And then otherwise, we can quickly run outside... Um, and have a little look about the place. So, yeah, clock town. Let's go. Right, okay, so Lon Lon Ranch. And maybe it's that thing over there. Can you see just in the bottom right corner? When I say bottom right corner, it's more like the southeastern corner. There looks like there's something there. I don't know if it's a ranch or not. Oh, no, that's the <laughs> that's the observatory. That's the tower where uh, we first met Straw Legs. Right, okay. Uh, let's carry on a little look about the place. I'm sure we must find something eventually. Looks like there's a hole there to jump down into. Let me have a little look. Oh, no, people told me there are holes in Terminator Field where there are enemies, big scary enemies. Oh, God, do I want to do this? Okay, nothing there. Nothing there, except for, like, one rupee. There's legit nothing else there. Magnifying glass. Mm, no, it doesn't look like there's anything here. Pictograph? No, I don't see anything. Okay, never mind. I thought maybe there was going to be something there. That's okay. Oh, I'll tell you what I can do, actually. I never did it last time, did I? I can now change into the Deku plant. And I should... Oh, no, because that's too far, isn't it? Herb derp. No, I did check that. But have I got any magic beans? If I chuck some magic beans into this thing, I'll be able to climb on top of that log. Uh, items. We've got no magic beans. All right, well, let's go back to the town. We can go and grab one. Oh, cool. He does actually... <laughs> he does actually sell to me. Check this out. So, as a Goron, the guy in the shop will actually sell me. It's only the Deku scrub that he won't sell to. Uh, right, magic beans. 100 rupees? I'm pretty sure they did not cost 100 rupees back over at the... Uh, Back over at the Deku Castle. I'm going to go and investigate that. There's no way I'm throwing away 100 rupees for something so daft. Oh, there's another frog here as well. I just randomly like found him in the middle of the swamp. That's awesome. Uh, let me quickly throw on the mask then. Uh, mask. I'm not going to chuck the mask onto like Y because I don't see myself using it very often. So let me chuck you on. Have a little chat to you. Return to the course, my friend. Ah, Dongero. It has been so long. What has brought you all this way? Could it be? Has spring finally come to the mountains? That look, it is true. Winter was so long that I began to lose all. I began to lose. I began to lose all hope. I understand. I shall head for the mountains immediately. Yeah, we found one frog. Okay. I'm wondering if this is going to be pointless. I wonder if all the frogs will stay there, or if it's a case of you have to get all the frogs in like one in-game day, if you get what I mean. Yeah, maybe it's. Oh my god, that bird was massive. <laughs> you see how big that bird was. That's ridiculous. All right. Oh, here we go. Milk Road. This defo sounds like some kind of uh, a farm place. There you go. That owl statue is to life, and we can now fly here again, which is good. Uh, no, thank you. What's going on here, then? Uh, Gorman Track. Home of the horseback riding experts. Okay. But what's beyond the Gorman Track? What's down this one? I'm specifically looking for... Or is it called Lon Lon Ranch? Yeah, here we go. I think we found it. Nope, Gorman Track again. Hmm. I'll have a little chat around. We'll see what's going on here. Uh, oh, wait. Can I even get over that fence? I don't think I can. Gorman Track, rear gate. Please inquire at the main gate to the left. Oh, right, okay. Okay, so this is the Gorman Track. We haven't found Lon Lon Ranch, but that's fine. Yes, yeah, sir. Do you have some business at the Gorman Track on such a terrible day? Oh, yeah, of course, because it's like the final day now, isn't it? I love that he's still at work. The Gorman Brothers. Oh, the suspicious Gorman Brothers. What we'll added to your notebook? That's weird. Okay. What about you? Yeah, I heard some ghosts or something appeared at the Romani Ranch yesterday. And now all their cows are gone. That's one real dangerous ranch, I tell you. Seems like we're the only ones who have any milk left. <laughs> uh, if you like, I'll sell you some. Uh, no, I'd 50 rupees for milk. God damn. No, thank you, sir. Right, so maybe further up Milk Road is where the ranch is. Let's see if it's that way. There you go. Roll yourself up. Uh, like a ball. Ooh, a fairy. I forgot about that. I could do with one of those. Uh, I did not mean to take the mask off. I just wanted to grab my jar. Here we go. Where's that fairy at? Come here, you bugger. Yeah, we got it. I doubt we're going to get into much combat scenario uh, up at the ranch, but we'll see how we get on. Uh, what does Tingle have? Let me just see if he has any new maps for us. Uh, let's quickly get into shoot mode, and we're going to fire at you. No, missed. <laughs> the not-so-dramatic ending. 
There he is. Oh, do you happen to be a fairy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Right, what are you selling? Right, we got Romani Ranch. I, I swore we already bought that. I'll buy it again just in case. Oh, no, we already have that map. Okay, cool. Let's try again. What's the other one that you've got? The other one is the Great Bay. Yeah, why not? We're going to have to buy it at some point. We always end up buying them, so might as well get it. And, of course, his signature words. Tingle, tingle, kulu limpa. Don't steal them. I made those up all by myself. All right, here we go. Uh, oh, okay. There was a boulder in the video that I saw. Yeah, Romani Ranch. Okay, let's have a little chat to this guy. Oh, I opened the way. All right, good. Good work. Thanks, man. So maybe you have to wait until one of the later days in order to go up here then. Maybe he's like chipping away on days one and two or something. That moon is very low. <laughs> I don't like it. Right, the Romani Ranch. Cool. So where are we going to first? Are we on... Oh, it's just like on that side. Well, so this is like a really nice big open field and stuff. Oh, I like this place. As soon as we get a pona, I'm bringing her out here for a whirl. What's over there? Oh, is that a pona? Oh, genuine! <laughs> I didn't even know she was up here. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's our horse. I thought school kid said he, like, killed her or whatever. That was weird. Anyway, hello, you. Oh, she's a little bit wary of us. Who are you again? Uh, well, it's the first time we've met, love. Oh, you're Romani. Oh, Romani the ranch girl. Okay. So does she own the ranch? Let me take this off so I look a little bit more human. There you go. No, just the same again. You, who are you again? Bugger all. Right, let's have a little chat with uh, Epona. Hello, Epona. Or is this because, you know, like in my Mario Kart series, the opposite of Epona is Anope. So I'm going to hope that that's Anope there. Uh, Mama's house. Okay. Well, where's Mama at? Is she upstairs? I don't hear any, like, noises. Like, I don't hear her, uh, like, working or any snoring or anything like that. There's literally nobody around. How weird. This is, it's like nothing here. It's dead. It's amazing how timeless the Zelda music is, isn't it? Like, it, it impresses me every single time. Same with most, like, retro games, to be honest. Like, I don't find the songs to be that obvious now. Like, they're not quite as in the forefront um, in nowadays. It's more like kind of like theatrical soundtracks, isn't it? Uh, let's have a little chat with you. Oh, no, not the chicken. <laughs> Hello, you. Uh, oh, sorry. Two days ago, my sister, after what happened... I can't help but think if I'd only listen to her then. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be brood, but our cows are all gone now. But please, make yourself at home. What happened two days ago? That was the first day. You're called cre Cremia. Creamier? I don't know. I'm guessing it's creamier because it's like milk. Milk and cream and cheese and stuff. Uh, what's the time there? Oh, there are cheeky little rupees inside of there. Let's find out who else is about this place. Is that it? Literally, literally nobody else is here. Right, okay. Oh, God. The earth is starting to rumble now <laughs> as the moon is getting closer and closer. Uh, is there anything else on the ranch? It looks like there are literally only these two places. I mean, it looks like there are other places beyond here. Should we go have a little look at them? It looks like there are some entrances. I guess maybe they go out to the, the track. Let's have a little look. Well, oh, that's like a, a dog on the entrance. I wonder if this is like a little dog home. No. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, dog. Doggy racetrack. Oh, this is adorable. What do you want on a day like this? This is Mama, Mama, Ma what? Mama Moo. This is Mama Moo Yan's doggy race track. Didn't you know that? Do you want to try and race a dog? The minimum bet is ten rupees. Sure, yeah. Wait, am I actually racing the dog, or am I picking the dog to run? If the doggies see a face like yours, I think they'd roll over and play dead. Uh, yeah, I'll make sure I change into Human Link. There you go, Mama Moo. Ma 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 moo ma 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 ma. All right, let's go pick a doggy then. What do you want? I just gave you 10 rupees. Oh, wait, and maybe she didn't take the other 10. Uh, then first, go in and fetch the doggy that you think will run the fastest and bring it here. Oh, okay. So we need to find ourselves a champion. He's the most sprightly. Oh, no, they're all quite sprightly. I'm going to go for the golden guy. You're going to come in first place, you. <laughs> Look how he stands on top of our head. That's amazing. That's so good. Uh, yeah, I'm going to bring the golden guy. He's going to do well. Okay, here you go. I'm going to have a little chat with you. How do I place him? I don't want to throw him. Or do I just throw him in front of you? There you go. You're on the front line. Gotcha. Wait, I brought you the dog. Oh, for God's sake, come here. 
There you go. Is that doggy fine? Yes. Here we go. I'm going to name him Wilfred. Wilfred is going to do awesome. Uh, if the dog you brought me gets first place, you get triple your bet. Second place gets double. And if you get third through fifth, you'll break even. Oh, this isn't too bad. How many dogs race, though? Uh, how, oh, how much do I want to bet? Balls it. We're betting everything. Going YOLO. We're going YOLO with it. Uh, yeah, that one there. Oh, I can only bet 20 rupees. You can only bet in 10 uh, rupee increments, it seems. All right, here we go, then. Come on, Wilbert. You can do this. Oh, he doesn't look rearing up to go. Oh, Wilbert, you're at the back of the pack. <laughs> I picked the slowest fucking dog. Are you serious, Wilbert? Come on. You can do this. Is there a button I can press for motivation? There's not. Oh, wait, hold on. He's hauling ass. He's getting himself up to that midpoint. Where is he? No, look, he's so far at the back. Wilbert, Wilbert, Wilbert. You've lost me 20 rupees here, man. Not even close. Not even bloody close. You are fourth to last. <laughs> oh my god. Wilbert. Yeah, you're telling me it was a bad choice. No, I don't want to bloody play again. Screw you. Uh, I'm going to go find out what the other stuff in this area is. So I was told that I have to use the, um, the marching mask to march 10 chickens or something. And that's how I get the bunny hood. So I need to find that dude or woman, whoever it was that wanted that doing. Um, so we've already been into there. Let's go for this place. Oh, oh God, we had another crash. There we go. <laughs> We're back. All right, let's take off the uh, the Goron mask. We'll make sure we get our other one into the list. So masks, I want that one just there. I'm going to switch into you. There you go, like so. Now, where is he? Oh, is it this guy in the middle? Oh, the like little tiny baby chicks. Look at this. <sighs> I heard it from my gramps. It says the moon's going to fall. With something that big, it's sure to take this ranch down with it. <laughs> oh, well. I might as well stay put. I can't run like I used to anyway. Oh, bless him. What are you looking around at? My only regret is that I won't get to see these guys in their prime as roosters. If only I could move like I used to back in the day. I'd march these little dudes all around town until they were big and strong. <sighs> Alright, cool. So we might just have enough time for this. I think that is that 9am or is that 9pm on the clock? Oh, it's only 9am. We've got loads of time. Alright, here we go. Let's get marching, everybody. Come to me, little chickies. That's one chick. I'm just going to enjoy the music whilst I do this. You can do the same. Got six chicks running round the pen. Make them big and strong so they turn into a hen. It's better than roosters, cause they really suck. And I'm Link and I've got Ocarina, so I don't give a damn. Hey! How many have I got now? One. Oh, I can't even tell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are two more little chickies around the place. Where are you, you buggers? There's one over there. There's one more left to find. There you go. Where's the other one? Ah, there he is. A fangy, a bugger. We're homing in. We're homing in. We got him. Whoa. <laughs> Usta, 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 Usta. There you go. This is amazing. Woohoo. We did it. All of them have become roosters. This is brilliant. Well, we're all growing up now. How'd you do that? Just seeing these guys with a crest and all. I don't have regrets about anything anymore. I'm perfectly satisfied. Here, you can have this from me. Nothing fancy. Just an old mask I used to wear in my running days. There we go. That's the one I was looking for. Who got the bunny hood? Who got the bunny hood? Because I got it good. Yeah, I got the bunny hood. Let's put it on. I want to try it out. Cuckoo Shack's Cute Chicks. There you go. Try saying that ten times first. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put this bad boy on. I want to see exactly what kind of speed we get out of it. Because I think I'm probably going to wear this a lot of the time. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Oh, yeah, look at that. There you go. And apparently I can jump further as well. How do I test that out? Have I got anything I can jump off? 
So if I were to jump onto this thing here, okay, let's see how far we can get to, like, the outside part. So I'm not going to move direction afterwards. So we got to... I think our feet basically got, yeah, to the foot of that. So if I were to do the same jump again, but with the bunny mask on. There you go. Then we go for it. <laughs> that mask, bloody hell. Uh, yeah, there you go. And then off there. Oh, yeah. Look at the distance. Way further by, like, one foot. <laughs> it's literally, like, one step difference. And that's about all we gained from it. Right, so we got the bunny hood. Um, we still haven't blown up that hole in the wall to get back to the Goron races. I have no idea how to do that. I don't know how to get a pona, so I'd love it if people could tell me how to do that. And I think I am going to use tomorrow's episode to go around uh, Snowhead Temple and collect together the remaining theory. So I will see you all then. Bye-bye.